Hello everybody, I would like to start with an apology for my absence in the past couple of sessions um, and I hope uh, wherever you are you're enjoying your life however I uh, am not happy and in fact I'm very very angry and not at you don't get me wrong at the way things are going on in the world uh, and I'm sure if you have uh, some uh, spiritual discernment and wisdom uh, you will be happy either uh, this video is not to discourage you this video is to maybe encourage you however uh, I have to tell you uh, I'm really really angry at the fact that uh, I am putting a lot of effort and energy into this and you have to understand um, this is a one-man band wagon and uh, we don't get any support and when I say we it's just me and my wife and my wife is helping me sometimes and sometimes I help her because we have our own uh, responsibilities in the house and so uh, it's very difficult to help each other and we have different um, you know I have I have my own forte and she's got her own uh, so it's difficult to help in many areas you can only help so much when I started this uh, ministry I said that in our uh, mission statement what we're about and why I wanted to do this I felt compelled by the Lord that I had to do this and that was my ministry in life to not only preach the gospel but heal the sick uh, cast out demons and deliver people from their uh, oppressions my messages have been all around those kind of things to preach the gospel at the same time the gospel of Jesus Christ no other gospel to heal the sick to pray for them to show people how they can be delivered uh, from any kind of addiction my messages have been very practical and useful for, for people who uh, want to take advantage and benefit from them I don't teach or preach fluff I don't talk about things that are almost common sense and everybody should know or would know I talk about things that are more practical in life and you know things that people want to know uh, today there is a lot of people who do know the Bible back to the front uh, people know about the story of David and Goliath people know about um, Samson uh, people know about Solomon and his story people know about uh, Jesus and his sacrifice people know about Noah and Daniel Moses and all the other uh, great and small prophets and prophetesses it's not about telling them about those things anymore it's about showing them the way to salvation through the blood of Jesus Christ and yes affirming all that with the scriptures but also Jesus said go preach the gospel and heal the sick drive demons out and that has to be the focus of any ministry really uh, for, for me as far as I'm concerned that's been my ministry that's been my focus um, at the same time things are happening in the world so we cannot be um, ignorant of those things or 
play ignorant or just stick our heads in the sand and just pretend they don't exist things are happening in the world and we have to be involved if you are a Christian or you think or you believe you're a Christian or you've been brought up in a Christian environment and you've been told or taught that you should have nothing to do with politics then uh, I'm afraid you need to understand that the whole Bible <laughs> the whole thing is about politics Jesus was political Daniel was political the things that they did were all political Joseph Moses everybody you think of you know all those great people great clouds of faith you think of they did something that involved the governments of their country the rulers of the time and they went against them most of the times and um, because they're all evil you know the, the ruler of this world is evil Satan and what do you expect from his kingdom his little kings and uh, rulers what do you expect the kings of the earth are appointed by the Lord but the Lord himself knows them yes he has appointed them because he is giving them a chance to repent he is giving them the chance to use their power for God for good for the good of people but of course they don't because they are evil they're under the dominion of Satan they have made an allegiance with Satan so don't expect uh, these people to be godly there might be some uh, who are good you can say uh, or comparatively good yeah. but in the end if they start bidding for God and be uh, for the good of their people you know they've always in the history been toppled or removed by who by the powers that be we call them the globalists today or those who want to control the world those who have made an oath to Satan those who worship Satan now at this point uh, I know a lot of you just switch off this video but that's fine I'm not here to please people I'm not here to give people messages that uh, tickles their ears uh, I say as it is and I say what the Lord puts on my heart this has been laid heavy on my heart for a long while uh, and I was thinking I will say these things one day but not now but thinking about it and uh, pondering on uh, what's been happening in the world every video that I make I mm, make it with the thought with the uh, with this in, in, in mind that this might be my last video because I've shown you and you know that my videos are restricted my voice is suppressed and I'm not even I haven't even started uh, to speak and um, what I want to say and I haven't even um, used my fiery speech this is just nothing and, and you know I, and, and and I haven't even uh, as far as I'm concerned I haven't even crossed any lines so if this is what they do to the little me uh, with a little audience what do they do to the people with voice uh, with millions of fans if, if you think that the governments are out there for you for your benefit for your interests 
if you think that you have a, a say in the affairs of the world that we have a democracy in a way that they have taught us in schools that we have or, or should I say we have been brainwashed to think that there is such thing uh, or if you think that we have freedom of speech freedom of expression then um, I would suggest that you just shut down this video and unsubscribe because uh, you are living obviously in a cuckoo land you know you're living in a land that doesn't exist um, freedom doesn't exist in, in that sense of uh, freedom of expression freedom of speech and recently they have shown this clearly and they don't hide that anymore and they're not shy about it so it is very clear if you still uh, in your sleep and you're still dreaming of a, a free world and you think or dream that you're living in a free land then uh, you either need to wake up now or uh, go back to sleep I shut this video and unsubscribe go ahead because not, nothing is going to change you nothing is going to change your perspectives if you don't think that a bunch of people a bunch of idiots in fact want to control the world and they're not very bright I can tell you this they're very very stupid uh, they all they have all they have in their arsenal is, is money wealth that's been passed down to them if you think that we have to side with Israel no matter what then you've been fooled and brainwashed by your own church you are Israel you are an Israelite you don't have to be genetically related to Abraham and be a Jew and then convert to Christianity then be a special person or be a special person because you're a Jew you're no special person if you're listening to me if you're watching this message and you are a Jew you're no special person I'll tell you this you're just the same as anybody else in fact you need to repent and become a Christian follower of Christ not Judaism if your ancestors were Jews practicing Judaism and you're now a Christian by any miracle then praise the Lord that you're a Christian and start practicing Christianity do away with all those uh, traditions you know tradition you know do away with all those traditions keep the Sabbath holy every day is sacred every day is holy you know if you want to be stuck with your own laws we are not under the law anymore we are kings and priests we are above the laws the law is not ruling over us anymore if you're still in bondage to the law then you're still living in the Old Testament and you're still a Jew practicing Judaism now this is not to attack Jews every single person on this earth no matter what uh, faith or religion they've been born into or they've been raised um, they, they have a freedom and they have the choice freedom of choice will freedom of will to follow Christ and become a Christian now when I say you have the freedom you have the freedom within yourself however outside there are pressures depending on where you are you have different types of pressure and restrictions 
you might be in China uh, you, you're not even allowed to be Christian maybe I don't know the laws there uh, you might be in Africa and there are certain rules there you might be in um, you know Israel they look at you like you're you're a weirdo you're just stupid thinking that Christ came and died for you because they still believe that Christ will still come on a donkey you know think about that in this day and age you think that uh, or you believe that Jesus is still to come for the first time on a donkey and and you know you you are you're you're just something <laughs> I, 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 it's beyond my you know imaginations to think somebody in this day and age still thinking that Jesus is to still come for the first time on a donkey and they go and beat their heads against the wall you know this is stupid and and we are controlled by them same people Jews uh, who want to control the world uh, we're not allowed to say anything about them because if you say anything you're anti-semitic yeah well consider me anti anything I'm not anti anything I'm not against Jews I'm not against women I'm not against men I'm not against uh, anybody in particular I'm against their practices I'm against their sins I'm against what I'm against what they do which is evil now they can call themselves anything and uh, you know they can call themselves whatever they like they can call themselves children of Abraham what Jesus called them children of Satan so there you go get your answer from Jesus it is in your Bible I'm making videos practical to everyday life to teach people how to be free from their addictions to teach people how to free themselves from the claws of their governments to teach people to open their eyes and wake up to what's happening in the world and pray for discernment and when I look at the views the number of views the traffic is pathetic I know it's been suppressed but however uh, when people actually stumble by this video and watch it I see they're not there for a long time they don't spend that much time they don't spend that much time to hear from the Lord they don't want to know they rather watch some TikTok stupid show some idiots playing something stupid on their TikToks, looking at some stupid people uh, who make videos every day or every minute and post them on their TikTok, Instagram, uh, social media, showing their stupid looking faces um, that have been covered with makeup, with uh, you know gels and Botox and all sorts of things you know and, and all sorts of things that is just horrible to even look at and people love themselves people love to look at themselves look at their own uh, face and take selfies and post them and lots of these people are in the body of Christ that's the bad bad thing about it that's the bad news they're in the church they don't belong to the body of Christ I have to say they might think they do but they don't belong to the body of Christ the body of Christ uh, will repel those filthy monsters you know the Word of God says do not conform to the standards of this world but be transformed by renewing of your mind now if you want to conform and follow the, the standards of this world and go ahead and pump up your lips look like a baboon's bottom then go ahead and do that 
you're following the trend you're following the standards of this world they tell you the powers up there those bunch of idiots up there they tell you this is what you have to do they tell you this is how you should look like this is the type of music or video you should listen to and watch this is the type of thing that you have to play on your social media and do and say this is what you have to eat this is what you have to wear decency modesty is out the window and 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 we, we're so blind to it we don't even see it we you and I as born-again Christians in the body of Christ we have a responsibility if you and I don't say anything don't put our feet down and don't stop this now there is no stop I tell you this there is no end there is no stop they keep pushing they'll keep pushing their agenda do you want this to come to your actual physical doorstep before you actually scream and say something you have to scream now you have to say it out loud that we don't want these things if you think you know my last message last two messages were about the affairs of Iran and what's happening there which have been kept very quiet by the world news it got so big that millions of Iran Iranians in exile in other countries they went out to their streets in their own um, countries in their own towns and protested against the Iranian mullahs regime and only then they only talked a little bit about it and twisted the whole thing by saying that this is all about hijab and other um, you know artificial things that is not the point that is not even the case the point being they're lying to us and if we don't raise our voice to our members of Parliament our congressmen uh, wherever depending on where you are then uh, you're not doing your responsibility if you don't tell your children your brother your sister your f father your mother following the trend following the standards of this world is evil you should not do that stop following the trend just because everybody is doing it doesn't mean it's right just because everybody is on Instagram doesn't mean it's right just because everybody has got snapchat app doesn't mean you have to have it just because everybody's on TikTok doesn't mean you have to have it my mission was to as I said to preach the gospel to heal the sick to open the eyes of the blind to uh, minister to people to teach the Word of God and uh, teach the practical things in life I open people's eyes to the affairs of the world so they ask for discernment themselves I am not telling you what you know wisdom is you you have to ask God for wisdom yourself ask for heavenly wisdom and earthly wisdom ask for discernment most of all to discern the spirits there are lots of preachers that preach there are lots of preachers who know the Bible front to the back back to the front by heart but they are not part of the body of Christ Jesus himself said some of these people will turn to me on that day on the judgment day and say Lord did we not raise the dead in your name we healed the sick in your name and I will turn 
to them and say, depart from me, you evildoers. I never knew you. So that means there is a chance that you watching me right now are attending a church that the leader of the church is evil. That doesn't mean that you have to be evil. That doesn't give you the permission to, or, or the license to sin. That just means you're in the wrong place, following or looking up to the wrong person. That means that you have to wake up and ask for discernment, spiritual discernment. So you understand, fathom things and discern the spirits the spirit behind that person they might be talking nice everybody can talk nice talking nice is not difficult look what I do I'm not talking nice I'm going in fact against the trend because if I were to talk and ride on the waves of trend and talk as the trend goes I would have had a massive uh, number of followers and fans and my videos wouldn't be suppressed and restricted and limited like I have shown you in my uh, previous videos I've proven to you I'm not just talking so I don't I don't do this for fans I don't do this for likes I don't do this to to harvest uh, likes or shares or things like that you you go ahead and do that that is again your responsibility it's, it's up to you whatever God lays on your heart go ahead and shut me down it doesn't matter but you you have a responsibility you will have to give an account on that day you will have to give an account give an account about every single decision you've made including what you're doing with your life with your surrounding with the family with your family members with your colleagues with your staff if you have staff with your managers with your um, you know people above you and your subordinates so you have an accountability and responsibility you'll have to give an account on that judgment day are you ready for it every day you have to consider this day is my last day and I'm going to do uh, the right thing to finish that day to, to complete things don't leave things half done say things that you have to say Say to your loved ones that you love them, you appreciate them. They might not be there tomorrow. You might not be there tomorrow. Let them know. As I said, every video I make, I consider that video might be the last video I've ever made. I might be dead. Things might happen. My, or our YouTube channel might be completely shut down. Uh, we don't know, but it is recorded today it's recorded and it's saved in the history in the history of mankind and in the history of God I have um, done my bit I've done and I've said what God put in my heart to do and say I go to bed and sleep with clear conscience that I have said what I wanted to say it might reach some people it might not it doesn't matter that's that's irrelevant but I believe it reaches the right people it might be 10 people but they are the right people they're the people God wants this message to reach to and I believe the same with my prayers when I pray uh, and I've prayed on my videos uh, I believe uh, all of them have been answered I made lots of prophecies they have all happened 
it is not a badge on my shoulder this is the Lord's doing the other day we had a massive gale hitting the hitting against the the, the, the house and our house is actually stone built but uh, on the top floor where I'm sitting right now and uh, I, I could literally with my wife sat there on the other chair we could literally feel the house was shaking and you know I prayed against that wind I prayed against that gale in the name of Jesus Christ commanding it to stop not begging for it to stop but commanding it to stop and it stopped it didn't take it took less than a minute it ceased calm down then it was just normal wind not massive gusts of gale your prayers availed the prayer of a righteous man availeth much your prayers availed you have to pray and believe that your prayers work we are here to encourage each other and build up each other spiritually if we have any physical needs we also need to pray for each other we are called for that so if you think you have nothing to do with politics or you're not political then you're wrong maybe you should be what's happening in the world is all political and what's happening around you is all political the cost of living going up you're not talking about that are you not talking about that that is political and it's funny because I, we have uh, two or three different channels um, the, one of them is the ministry and the other ones are our basic business and you know like I said on this part on this channel we're just trying to uh, put well we've made this truly majestic is um, basically a family channels really we, we're putting everything there um, but and, and if you go to trulymajestic.com uh, you'll find the link to the other uh, channels that we have or, or other businesses that we have but in my electrical engineering uh, channel and its website which is my core business my background my expertise my forte uh, even that has been restricted why because they don't like they don't like people to save their energy I, I'm telling how to save energy I'm showing them with uh, devices I put there they can save energy I, I, I show people um, do away from let's say for instance this battery charger you don't need to buy those things you only need this little thing that charges everything they don't like that you know why because you they they want you and I all of us all people on earth to be reliant on their uh, prescriptions if they say petrol well we have to have all petrol cars if they say it's diesel then we have to have all diesel cars now they're saying all electric cars well, we have to have electric cars we can't just make our own you know uh, car run by salt and water you can't do that you're not allowed to do that you didn't get any permission from us that's the way things are in the world and and that's all political we show people how to be healed physically well you know our uh, with with natural things with natural herbs and remedies from psoriasis from eczema from those kind of skin conditions but they don't let that reach anywhere and you just think well how did this uh, 
little teenager who has no expertise, no knowledge, I'm not against teenagers, I'm not anti-teenager by the way, <laughs> who has no experience, no knowledge, no degrees in anything, no, nothing, she just, or he just makes a video showing himself eating pasta and, and mocking his dad is gone viral. Why? Why is that gone viral? I'll tell you why, because this is for the benefit of the uh, globalist agenda to destroy families and that is walking or, or talking uh, in, that, in those kind of lines, riding on that wave of destruction, it's okay. We, in fact, we promote your video. We make sure that video is shown to millions of people. But not my video. My video that tells people how to be cured of a certain skin condition is not shown to anybody. It's sad, but it's the reality. We have to face that with the spiritual powers that we have. We can't face that without physical um, strength or uh, might. We have to face that with our spiritual might. And we are powerful, united in the Spirit, by the power of the Holy Spirit. As I commanded that gale to stop and it ceased, you and I, we can pray against all the evil agendas of the evil rulers around the world and they will stop look six years has gone since the since the people of this country uh, in 2006 years yeah six years is gone since people voted for brexit in this country and in six years we've changed five prime ministers almost one in every year by average so you know the, the first one was David Cameron it just went as soon as people voted for Brexit and then it was May uh, Theresa May uh, she couldn't cope she couldn't cope with things she, she didn't handle it and uh, she badly handled things especially Brexit and she had to go and then jo Boris Johnson and uh, he had his scandals and he had to go and now uh, we had the shortest lived uh, prime minister 45 day prime minister who, who is uh, nicknamed uh, human hand grenade uh, Liz Truss and she is resigned and now we're getting the fifth one and, and Boris Johnson has uh, cropped up again and, and he wants to come have a comeback well we you know that's not the point the point is uh, is is this all about brexit uh, i don't think so is this all about um, the the crisis the financial crisis economical crisis I, I don't think so there is a lot more to it they use they use that 45 day prime minister to do their own background business they put her or installed her there uh, for for that purpose the knowing knowing that she won't last because isn't it funny that there was only two main candidates really and out of the two they picked the one that they said themselves the polls showed uh, there was 16 percent one six percent 16 percent confidence people had confidence in her so how come she was voted for that's a good question to to be answered uh, why was she who uh, was she elected by the same thing will probably happen now but uh, we're not talking about that this is not uh, the main purpose of this video the objective of this video is that um, wake up wake up do not follow the patterns and standards of this world be transformed by renewing of your mind 
and do the same for your own family members at least start from Jerusalem like Jesus said start from Jerusalem you know Jerusalem hasn't even been exhausted the message of gospel gospel of Christ hasn't even been exhausted because there is in Jerusalem Christianity is not the majority is it the majority of the faith is Judaism uh, and other religions but we are supposed to start from Jerusalem reaching the world uh, you and I can do this you start from your family I start from mine I have been doing that I have done that I've done my part I have been reaching outside my family now for a while you tell your children you tell your sister your brother stop pumping up your lips stop pumping your cheeks stop injecting Botox if you really want to look listen God has made you and I in his own image you are beautiful the way you are God knew you needed that kind of nose those kind of eyebrows uh, those kind of eyes God knew that God gave you the right thing the perfect thing now I have no problem whatsoever with makeup if you have mild you know preferably natural uh, makeup that covers some blemishes like you have some acne things like that you know you're just covering it or you you're, you're in the process of getting rid of it naturally again there is a natural way to get rid of your acne there is a natural way to get rid of your uh, eczema or psoriasis condition now uh, you, you, there's natural ways to get rid of things now if you're in the process of doing that or you don't you're not bothered about it you know but if you're bothered about that try all the natural things first if you can't do that yes but with makeup you can cover it there are things that you can do naturally uh, to cover up while you're in the process of healing or um, preferably natural healing and after that or before that or in the meantime you can have uh, some makeup to cover it or you could be just like me and not bothered about those kind of things just show as you are and and that is it that's fine uh, have confidence in your skin that God has made you in his own image if you believe that if you start believing that and having that kind of confidence no amount of makeup uh, will match up that because uh, nothing in the world will be you know, giving you that kind of confidence uh, you can have all the makeup in the world you can have all the Botox in the world you can you can stretch your skin you can stretch your skin till you there is no sk skin to stretch anymore and and behind your neck is all um, skin hanging um, or, or other places uh, but you won't be satisfied and you won't be happy with yourself you won't be confident under your skin you have to know and believe that you are uh, you are made in the image of the almighty God of the universe I want to end this video with a short prayer uh, for people to receive healing and wisdom from the Lord oh Lord Heavenly Father we come against all the spiritual powers and forces in the heavenly realms that are all evil the battle is yours Lord we ask you that you may forgive our sins and wash us with the blood of Jesus Christ set a hedge of protection over us and ours 
by the power of the Holy Spirit with the blood of Jesus Christ and fill us with your Holy Spirit afresh and let our uh, actions our words be the manifestation of the Holy Spirit and show the fruit of the Holy Spirit in everything we say and everything we do Heavenly Father give us peace and let us enter your rest let us enter your rest even from our physical labor and give us spiritual wisdom to discern all things spiritual or physical let us have the discernment of the spirits to know who is from you and who is not from you regardless of what they say or preach Give us peace, O oh Lord. Let us have peace. Let us enter your peace and have your peace, the peace that surpasses all understanding, not the peace that this world gives. Let us not desire to conform to the standards of, standards of this world but be transformed by renewing of, your, of, of our minds. Renew our minds by the power of the Holy Spirit with the scripture that you've given us. Give us heavenly wisdom and earthly wisdom in Jesus' name. Come against all these evil that is happening in the world we come against all the evil agendas of the evil rulers let them be confused let them be um, fighting with the with each other and expose each other let them be exposed let all their evil doings evil agendas all their scandals come to light and be known by all and let all the evil rulers be toppled by the people and let the people rule and have their freedom again have their freedom of speech freedom of expression freedom of movement traveling without any restrictions We come against all those establishments, principalities in the heavenly realms and earthly realms with the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen and amen. May God bless you and be with you. Till next video, it's goodbye for me.